This is a fun example. Uh, we're going to analyze a situation that occurred in the movie The Martian. So if you've watched that movie, one of the key plot points in the movie is that a crew of astronauts uh, is hit by a massive Martian windstorm. And uh, the windstorm uh, knocks over Mark Watney, who's the protagonist in the story, and uh, he ends up getting hurt, and then the other astronaut... You know what? I'm not going to tell you much more in case you haven't seen the movie. But anyway, it, there's a key part in the movie about a massive Martian windstorm, and it blows the astronauts all around. You can sort of see a uh, representation here, for example. And uh, what I want to do in this example is calculate the drag force acting on the astronaut. And we're told that based on wind tunnel testing, assume that the drag, efficient, drag coefficient multiple, multiplied by the frontal projected area of a typical person is 0.84 square meters. That actually comes from Frank White's textbook on fluid mechanics. So we're asked to find what that drag force is, and then we're also asked to find what the equivalent wind speed is on Earth to produce the same drag force. Okay, so let's go ahead and analyze this. We're, we're going to try to find the drag force. So the drag will be the drag coefficient acting on Mark Watney times the dynamic pressure. Now this will be the, the density of air on Mars, or the surrounding atmosphere on Mars, times the velocity of the, the surrounding, you know, the, the wind that's blowing past him, times the cross-sectional area of Mark Watney. Now we were just told in the problem statement that the drag coefficient times the area for a person is 0.84 square meters. Now, in fact, it might be a little bit bigger than that because, uh, you know, in the image here, for example, the person's wearing a spacesuit, so maybe, maybe it's a little bit larger than that because the area is a little bit bigger. But we'll just go ahead and use the given value. Now, we're also told that the density of the Martian atmosphere is, or I should put this as the density of Mars, Martian atmosphere is 0 0.016 kilograms per cubic meter. And then the velocity is 26.8 meters per second. These are all given in the problem statement. And they're, they're typical values that you might have on Mars for the density of the Martian atmosphere. And maybe uh, this is the velocity during a, a windstorm. Tip, these are typical values. So if you plug these values in to our expression for the drag, what you'll end up getting is that it comes out to be 4.8 newtons, or just about 1.1 pounds force. Very small value acting on the person. So you can see that they took a lot of artistic liberty in the movie and book, saying that you know this Martian uh, windstorm you know, was blowing people around and knocking things over and all that. You can see that the forces are exceedingly small, and the reason is is because the density of the atmosphere on Mars is very small. You know, the density of air on Earth is 1.23 kilograms per cubic meter. That's, you know, kind of standard temperature and pressure. So you can see that the density on Mars is about 100 times smaller than what it is on Earth. So the, there's quite a bit of difference uh, in the resulting drag force. So now, now the question is, what is the equivalent wind speed on Earth that would produce that same drag force? So to find that, we're just going to set, we're going to just find the drag force using this value for the drag force. We're just going to uh, use this expression to find uh, what the velocity is on Earth using the density of air on Earth. So, so we'll just have the following. Let me just write it all out. Uh, let me write it as Earth. I'm just setting the drag forces equal to one another. I'm, I'm just doing this basically. Okay, and we see that the drag coefficients and the areas cancel out. The one halves cancel out. And so what we'll have is the velocity on Earth is equal to the velocity on Mars times the square root the density on Mars divided by the density on Earth. Okay, and then if we plug in the numbers, we have the density on Mars given right here, density on Earth is right there, 
velocity on Mars is right up here. This is velocity on Mars. And if you solve for the velocity on Earth to give us this 1.1 pound force, um, force, it comes out to be 3.1 meters per second, which is about 6.8 miles per hour. It's, you know, it's, it's a light breeze. It's not anything too significant. So again, I just wanted to do this kind of neat example. It's, it involves a drag coefficient, but uh, it's kind of a fun one since we're dealing with this movie or book, The Martian. And again, they took some artistic liberty in saying that this, you know, this big Martian windstorm was enough to knock people over and damage equipment and things like that. But it was still an entertaining book, entertaining movie, highly recommend it. Um, so enjoy it, but you'll know secretly that, oh, this part doesn't really make a lot of sense in reality, but that's okay.